Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to take a look at VMware Thonso Machine Control uh, Policy Engine, particularly focusing around container image registry management. Now a lot of times when applications are deployed into Kubernetes, uh, by default, unless a container image is specified, Kubernetes downloads it to the default container runtime. Um, for example, if Docker is the default container runtime, then it looks up Docker Hub to find a corresponding image. Now, also one of the reasons why containers are becoming so popular within development teams is because containers are so portable and buildable in the sense that a dev team can download a container from the internet. They can then layer on their own custom code on top of that container and can create a new application container for their workloads. While this approach provides efficiency and it is what makes containers popular, sometimes organizations uh, don't necessarily prefer downloading container images from the internet for various reasons. One of them could be, you know, exposing their application workloads to an image that may have some security vulnerabilities or for other industry compliance reasons. Now, this is where um, organizations that are operating these different Kubernetes environments may have to define certain rules in what container images get pulled from what registries. And that's where Tanzu Mission Control comes in. So what Tanzu Mission Control does is it lets you define consistent policies around which container image registries have permissions to push containers into these Kubernetes environments. Let's take a look at how this is done. So I'm currently logged on to Thanzo Mission Control and you can see I have a bunch of clusters already provisioned or attached to it. We also have certain workspaces, which is a collection of namespaces across multiple clusters. So for example, in my workspace Acme Fitness Dev Staging, I have multiple namespaces for Acme Fitness app that come from different clusters. For example, some of them are in Google, some are in PKS or vSphere environments, and some of them are in AWS. Now what, what I want to do is define a policy by which only a specific container registry is allowed to push containers into this namespaces. So I go to my policies tab, get into image registry and click on a specific workspace. In my case, I'm going to apply this policy to the Acme Fitness Dev Staging app and add an image registry policy. So for example, I'm going to call it some um, and give it a name and specify the image registry that is allowed to push containers into these environments. That's my image registry that I'm going to allow. And then I'm going to apply this policy. Now, if I log on to one of these Kubernetes clusters, I should not be allowed to deploy any containers from Docker Hub. So let's take a look at that. So I'm currently logged on to one of the clusters where the namespace Acme Fitness belongs to in the work group. So let's take a look at the namespaces for this cluster. So we have the Acme Fitness namespace over here. Now let's take a look at the pods that are deployed in this namespace. You see there are no pods right now. So let's try to deploy a generic Nginx template from Docker Hub and see what happens. So here I'm asking Kubernetes to deploy a generic container image from uh, called Nginx without really specifying an image. So it's going to start pulling it from Docker Hub. And let's see if I'm able to deploy that. So you'll see the deployment gets created. However, if you look at the pods again, for that particular namespace, you'll see that none, none of the pods have been deployed. And this is because the container registry policy is not allowing any containers to be pulled from uh, Docker Hub. So this was a quick overview of how container image registry policy and Tanzu Mission Control works. Thank you for watching this video.